All right, guys, uh, got a, a, a no crank, no start come in, uh, towed in on the hook. I love them on the hook. Uh, that means money. Um, so we got a no start. Um, I've done some quick checks. Um, what I did here is I hooked up my uh, my power probe. Love this thing. My favorite tool. Most used anyway. Uh, and then I hooked up right here to the, uh, the positive uh, solenoid lead. So we got the, the battery power all the time. Okay, so it's directly from the battery. Uh, I believe it might go through a fuse. Um, but anyways, uh, we, and then we got the, uh, the 12 volt uh, trigger. Okay, so this is normally zero. Okay, as we see, we got ground. Yay! So that means we got continuity through the circuit here. Um, but unfortunately, it's just not activating the starter. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. We're gonna go through it real quick here. Um, but uh, the thing that I like to do when I get a no start and I've got signal there is uh, I like to tap on the ham on the uh, starter so right here where the solenoid is I just want to give it a little tap uh, sometimes I'll start it let's see oh look at that okay so there we go We've confirmed that the uh, starter is no good. Okay, let's see, we immediately got to start up. Um, let's see if we can activate it while it's running. Yeah, it's not, it's only a one time deal. Okay, so we uh, need to get this in for a starter. Quick and easy diag. I just uh, love it. So if you got uh, the power from the key cycle to that single wire. Now this is most starters in this way. If you got power to that wire with the uh, key cycle, then uh, you know all the circuitry from the ignition switch to the starter is good and that all your fuses are good. So, uh, just a simple uh, couple taps on the solenoid gently um, and that usually fires right out. And you can see right here, uh, let's see if I can zoom in on it, that's an original Toyota starter from Japan. So, this is a 2000, uh, what are we, uh, ba -da -ba -ba, 2006, okay, so, uh, you know, it's 2006, that, that's, you know, 17 years, the starter has been starting every freaking day almost, you know, multiple times a day, so that's pretty good engineering if you ask me, aftermarkets, you won't get 17 years out of them, guarantee it, all right. So that's quick, easy, uh, no start, no crank diag.